All right, we'll get started here in just a second. I just want to make sure that the sound is working. One more second. All right, testing the sound. All right, testing the sound. Okay, I think we're good. All right, hey everyone, Ryan from you Bike, Bike Escape. And in this video, we're gonna be unboxing a new brand to me, not new in the fact that I wasn't familiar with them, but a new company that we're actually reviewing their electric bikes. I'm gonna be doing a full review on this video. This is the Bike Tricks Cuddy Full Suspension Folding Electric Bike. And it's from a company called Bike Tricks based in Canada. And before we get started, if you are looking at purchasing any Bike Tricks bike, please check out the link in the description. If you use that link before you make your purchase, it's a free and easy way to help support the channel. So I appreciate your support. I'll also have some links, other links in the description as well, our, our electric bike accessories list, top e-bike brands page, and finally, our electric bike discounts code page, where we track all the deals on the electric bike brands that we follow. And with these live streams, I have to put the bikes together anyway, so it's a great opportunity for people to have a lot of questions. It's very difficult for us to respond to all the questions on YouTube. Uh, so if you have a question, you can write it in the, the comment section. I'll do my best to help you out. Um, even if it's not about this particular bike, though I am pretty excited for this review. And if you go to their website, you can uh, click the link in the description. And it'll take you uh, to the uh, all the specs on this bike. Uh, if you're joining me live and you want to guess what color we chose, let me know because it is... It is offered in some pretty uh, unique colors here. And just for ease of getting the bike out, I am going to uh, cut the box. So I don't necessarily recommend that you do that in case in the off chance that you actually have to return it. It doesn't happen often, but it can happen. And one other thing that was really interesting, so the company, as I mentioned, is based in Canada, and um, they ship these to the United States via air. I was actually reading, doing some reading right before we started the live stream because I wanted to confirm uh, how they ship these, but this came uh, FedEx Express, so it shipped via air, uh, which I think generally means that the uh, box is likely to arrive to you in a little bit better conditions than perhaps some other, uh, you know, bikes that are shipped ground. So I think I'm going to cut this here. And this box is actually pretty large as far, far as boxes go for folding e-bikes. I was a little bit surprised. I don't know if that's because it's packaged a lot better or, or what. We'll take a look. All right, do I have any guesses? Okay, we have one guess of blue. It is not the blue color, but I am excited to show you. Here it is. And we went with the very out loud color. This is the yellow bike. I actually showed this bike to my wife and uh, she has always wanted us to review a yellow bike. That's her favorite color. So uh, that's what we went with. And just opening this bike up, I think I understand why the box is so big is because this bike is nearly fully assembled. So I don't know how much I'm actually going to be assembling. Looks like maybe some pedals on. We'll get into that. Um, so I guess that's one of the benefits. I always like the companies. Um, there's a few other companies like Electric. They ship their bikes nearly fully assembled, already folded. Um, so this is another bike that uh, already has the front tire on, which... I'm a huge fan of, especially if you're getting a bike shipped directly to your door. Perhaps you can just take it to a bike shop and get it tuned up as opposed to having them assemble it as well can save you some money. So that's really cool. Bigger box though. Um, but I'm happy to see that it is nearly fully assembled. Really unique. I like that a lot. Again, if you have questions, let me know in the comments section here. 
the banana, yes, or canary yellow. Second the motion for the banana. That's really funny because my son was today very excited about opening the banana bike because that's what we were calling it. And uh, unfortunately, the Cuddy full suspension bike does not have a rear rack that you can purchase from them and it doesn't have fenders. Uh, so I'm not sure. I don't think a, a, a rear seat is really going to be an option on this bike for my son at least, but I'm sure he'll be excited to to see the color nonetheless. But it's a it's a pretty cool color, I think. All right, we have the charger. I'm assuming this is a two amp charger. Yep. And also in the box, we have some folding pedals. They believe they're plastic. One thing we've come across recently, and I think we're going to try to show them off in another video, is um, actually JP found these pedals fold or they're not folding pedals, but they're just like quick release pedals. So you can actually just take them off your bike, which is great if you're traveling. So these are just some some plastic folding pedals for this folding bike. Looks like they, I'm not sure this clear plastic thing is. Oh, probably for, uh, if you want to put the reflectors on, you can. I normally just toss those. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else? I think that's that's pretty much it for uh, no other accessories. It doesn't look like there's tools. Maybe there are, but I'm um, just going to start unpacking it here. Let's see. Rear rack is a good idea. Those folding pedals break quickly. Keep one in an onboard gear bag. Yeah. I prefer the, the metal ones, to be honest. I like the variety of e-bikes they offer. There's a model for just about any need. Pedro, I completely agree. And while this is the first Bike Tricks bike that we're gonna be reviewing, I really hope it's not the last. So um, be sure to check out our full review when we post it. And uh, hopefully Bike Tricks will be willing to work with us in the future. There are a lot of their models that, in my opinion, I'd like to review that are really compelling. So they say they're all assembled in Canada, um, which means that you can customize not as much this bike, but some of their other models, you can customize them to your liking. Um, you know, you can change the tire size, I believe, even the front fork, um, all sorts of things. If you go to their website, you can click on one of their bikes and see all the customizations that you can do. And so that's, that's really unique and obviously something only they can do with uh, the bikes being assembled in house. And I should mention, again, this is not a tutorial. I'm not a bike mechanic. Simply, uh, unboxing and happy to chat with folks who watch our videos and this yellow is kind of like a matte yellow gray stripes it looks like very classy look in my opinion and i think what is most interesting about this bike is the fact that it is um full suspension so i'm curious how that that rear shock uh will feel and I guess I'm assuming, yeah, there's the kickstand is already on, so I can probably just take this out and put the kickstand down, which is what I might do here. Might be a little bit easier. There we go. 20 by 3 inch tires, if I'm not mistaken, I'll verify that. 250 watt motor, 36 volt system. I feel like most uh, electric bikes have, in this price range, have 48 volts. But I'll be very curious to see how the power the power feels with the 250 watt. I believe it's a Bethane motor. They don't really give a peak rating on that, so we'll obviously put it to test in our on our hill climb test. All right, let's see. Maybe we can get these handlebars up. Just love that it is pretty much fully assembled here. May, that alone would save you a couple hundred bucks if you would otherwise have a bike shop assemble it. 
And again, you can always take it there and have them tune it up, which is much more affordable than a full assembly. I think I'll throw these handlebars on and I will check the comments again here in just a second. We have a Canadian flag up here on the top tube. You can see this is a high step model. Got the Bike Tricks logo on the front. Pretty thin saddle here, so imagine folks who want a more cushy ride, cushier ride might want to upgrade that. You can check out our electric bike accessories list for some suggestions on really whatever electric bike you buy. We've been trying to make some updates to that list to keep it up to date. Now, I'd be curious if you're watching this live, let me know what other models you think are most interesting from, from Bike Tricks. Keep it in mind for future reference. Skin these handlebar plastic off here. Right. So we have an LED display as opposed to an LCD display. Power bar, it is a key display brand I've seen before. Looks like we've got a left hand thumb throttle here. Twist the handlebars. Quick release up here. So this, not sure if I have to unscrew this all the way or not, we'll see. So if you wanted, when you folded this electric bike, you could potentially um, you know, completely remove the handlebars, but they will obviously fold nice too. So let's see. Slide these handlebars in here. Line up the quick release here. So this is pretty much the only uh, assembly you'll have to do. And yeah, I did make a mistake already. Again, I, I did say this is not a tutorial. So the handlebars are actually need to go the other way. And that's of course, because the, uh, the front wheel was spun around. Slides in there. So these are the same folding handlebars that you'll find on, on most electric, folding electric bikes. All right. Let me just start. Thread this in, this quick release. It should be golden. Okay. Let's check out the comic, comments here. The Wasp or the Hornet. What was the price range? This is $14.99 here in the United States. Again, Bike Tricks is a Canadian company. And I do believe they sell these or sh will ship them, uh, you know, I think across the world. Many international uh, destinations they list on their website. I like the design, but not a fan of the 250-watt motor. 
Yeah, I'm not sure why they went with the 250 watt motor. Likely the Canadian regulations would be my guess. Um, but yes, it's really cool looking. $1,500 in 250 watts is way out of balance. Yeah, I think it's it's important to keep in mind. Um, I mean, we'll see. I think the full suspension certainly adds some of the cost. Um, but yeah, it is a uh, you know 36 volt system, 250 watt motor. So I will be very curious how it performs. Um, and yes, Vu uh, correctly pointed out that the front wheel is backwards. For those that like the frame, SDU on Amazon, same frame, 750 watts. Yeah, I think the the other thing I'll just mention with that, of course, there can be other bikes that are spec uh, a little bit better, though. Um, I think as I've been reviewing many electric bikes, I have come to realize that customer support is a big thing. And I do view Bike Tricks as one of those better companies with better customer support. Um, so should anything go wrong, they're going to be able to help you out. And just something to keep in mind. Okay, I think we'll get the rest of the packaging off. I don't have a pedal wrench handy, but I will just start threading the pedals on. And another thing I will point out is this front suspension. So this is actually a name brand. It's an RST guide front fork. I imagine that certainly adds to the cost of this bike as well. And I'm just looking, they are marked. So the left pedal is going to be reverse threaded. And I'm just gonna tighten this up later. Looks like Shimano Turney rear derailleur. I believe that's the 14, the 28 tooth in the rear. Double-sided front chain ring here, it is plastic. These are Chow Yang. I believe on the website they say 20, 20 by three, but I'll actually look, eh, they are 20 by three, okay. It just for some reason just looked a little narrower than that. Okay, let's see here. I am going to get these handlebars centered. Tilt them up a little bit here. Try to get them out of the way. We have a Shimano uh, Revo Shift shifter. That's the grip shifter. Don't see that very often on electric bikes. I think maybe I've reviewed one other bike that has that and I don't even remember which one. All right, and as I mentioned for that display, we have just uh, three, let's see, low, mid and high. And then we have five bars for battery capacity. All right, and let's see, mechanical disc brakes, these are, Repute, not a brand I'm familiar with. Quick release up front. And let's see. The Bafang motor in the rear. Just seeing if there's any other information I can gather from. Let's say 250 on it. So be curious if it peaks any higher. Let's go ahead and hit that throttle maybe. Yeah, I'll be very curious how that performs. Let's see, I'm trying to think about anything else here. I do have the motor cutoffs. Brakes feel a bit firm. I don't know if they need to get worn in or, or what. And of course we have a very similar frame that we see on many folding electric bikes. It's actually, I'm kind of curious here. Sure, I need to move this pin somewhere. There we go. It's a slightly different uh, locking mechanism, I will say. And I do have the keys up here. I 
I'm gonna try to fold it here and just see. Looks like some kind of piece. Oh, interesting. All right, this battery. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on camera. We'll see here. It actually has a key right here, like the keyhole. Usually on these folding electric bikes, it's down here. Just kind of curious how this, oh, there we go. Let's see. I'm sure it should say the battery capacity. Yep, 36 volt, 13 amp hours. And I'm assuming, goes in there like that and there is a way to charge the battery well it's in the frame here now it's locked into place all right and they do show you the you can get an idea of battery capacity there too so really cool frame design. I'll show you the front suspension quick. Again, I actually think this is one of the better front suspensions on a electric bike, given that it is a name brand. Let's go feel the rear. Definitely can feel the rear a little bit. Of course, we'll really get a sense for it when we take it out. So yeah, full suspension folding electric bike. I'm pretty excited to check this one out. All right, I will check the questions, see if there's anything else that people want to talk about. Otherwise, this bike is assembled. One thing I just noticed too, nice integrated cables here. You can see this one here for the uh, derailleur in the rear. So that's something that's, I feel like more unique with this frame. A lot of times with the batteries that go inside the frame, you have all these external cables that likely come, uh, just kind of hang out underneath the frame here. Uh, but with this frame, they were able to integrate them into the frame, which makes it look much, much cleaner. Um, even the battery or the, sorry, the motor cable is opposite. I, I know you can't see it, but it comes out on the other side right about here. So they've even integrated that into the frame, which I think is really nice. Um, so I do like that as well. And same thing with the, uh, the left uh, uh, brake as well. So I like those, those touches, having the cables all integrated. All righty, let's see. They claim 80 new meters of torque with such low wattage and voltage, minus 350 watt, 36 volt, and it's only got 35 new meters of torque. Interesting. Yeah, I'll maybe have to, obviously we'll we'll uh, take this out for a test ride and I'll talk about it and maybe even reach out to them if they are claiming it to be 80 newton meters and just confirm that with them. Uh, what other colors besides yellow? Good question. So they have it in blue, red, uh, let's see, black mint, which is kind of a turquoise color, silver, uh, and then obviously the yellow. And again, no accessories, though. You can add some, you know, water bottle mount, cell phone mount, um, those sort of things, and an upgraded saddle looks like from their website. Um, it's a drop ship bike that they didn't bother changing the listing text on. So, Jacob, you bring up an interesting point. I'm not sure if I wouldn't imagine this is not a dropship bike unless because when you look at their website, they claim that all of them are assembled in Canada. Now, that is something that I will also confirm uh, with them to make sure all of their models are still that's still the case. Um, but from my understanding, they are all assembled in Canada. So that would mean it's not really a drop ship uh, bike. So um, T Tiger says, wow, that's a beautiful bike. I, I have to agree. I think they did a really nice job uh, with the design of this bike. 
think it's uh, something you don't often see. I mean, I already talked about the cable management. And yeah, that's a small thing, but it's it's something that sets this bike apart from other folding bikes. I mean, there's so many other folding models. I'm also kind of curious where the seat post. Yeah, so there also is a, you know, a point where you can't lower the seat. And, that, you know, I'll have to try this too, lowering it. So this is about as low as this can go because it'll come in contact with the the rear suspension. And then obviously as someone who's six feet tall, I'll have to uh, see how it fits. Uh, I was kind of looking, the minimum insertion point is like right about there. So we'll see if I can get full, full pedal extension. Um, yep. And Pedro just pointed that out as well. I didn't see your comment before. Uh, how's the weight? Um, let's see. I'll pick it up. But also, I'm imagining it's maybe slightly um, less weight than uh, other folding bikes. Just thinking of the the motor being a little bit smaller, the battery. Uh, I have to get back into the. Let's see, they say it fits uh, folks five feet and taller. Um, range up to twenty miles. Let's see what the, the weight is. I know it was on here. Weight without the battery is, they say is 40 pounds. Wow. Okay. So that would mean with the battery, you're probably looking at 46 pounds. I'm going to, I'll weigh this uh, for sure for our full review. Um, is this available in the UK? Good question. I'll have to get back to you on that one. I am not hundred percent sure. Um, I know they do ship internationally. I just don't know if there's, if they regularly would ship it to the UK, but I was on their about page. Um, and it kind of was highlighting all the other countries that they've, uh, shipped them to. Um, so that's something I will definitely, uh, look into as well. If you want to check out our full review or if someone happens to see it, let me know. Um, frame looks like the vent and cinch. I think similar design, but of course you have the, the full suspension. Um, fair point, maybe not drop ship, but it's a, not a custom or unique design that like their site makes it seem, seem like. I would guess that they're getting these frames made wherever you know they're manufacturing them, likely China, and then they're presumably assembling them in, in Canada, would be my guess, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, that looks like dual suspension, yes, you have the rear, um, kind of coil uh, suspension as well. So I think comfort wise, this bike's going to be fairly comfortable. Obviously I need to get it out to uh, say for sure. Yeah. Thanks Jacob. No, no, wor no worries at all. I mean, that's why I have the live streams and uh, I think it's good to get other people's thoughts on, on the bikes we review. And so, yeah, totally fine. Uh, I'll give everyone one more minute. Um, otherwise we're going to wrap this up. Um, It'll be probably a few weeks before we get this review out. We got a few more in the works. We got the, the KBO Ranger review all filmed. I'm excited for that one. We just dropped our uh, best folding bike video, if you haven't already checked that one out, um, featuring a lot of the bikes that we've personally reviewed. And let's see, what else do we have? We have the Watt Wagon review to do. We still have the... Uh, Rattan review to do. I just got a replacement battery for that bike. So we'll be working on that one. Um, and oh, we do have the Electric X Premium range test video coming soon as well. We are currently working on editing that video. And yeah, we're excited to share more with, uh, with that bike just because there's not a lot of information out. So we wanted to try to get that out. I also will do a hill climb test with that bike. Um, just um, need some more time to get that out. Pedro says no lights. Yes. No, you know, there's, there's no front or rear integrated lights here. Certainly would recommend adding some external lights. <laughs> Jacob was getting ready to watch the best folding bike video when the stream started. Well, you can watch it after then. <laughs> uh, Boo, thanks for watching. All right. I think that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Obviously, very quick unboxing. Again, one, in, one of the selling points of this bike, in my opinion, basically fully assembled. I mean, most people can do this. Um, the fastest folder. Yeah, well, the, the fastest folder, 
likely the one that we've reviewed. So the event in Cinch or the, the Snap Cycle S1. Uh, those were, I think, the two fastest that we've reviewed. Though I think um, maybe acceleration-wise, the Electric XP 2.0 might fit in there, but I don't think it went as fast. So, all right. Thanks for joining the live stream again. Links in the description if you want to help support the channel. Really appreciate that. And yeah, we'll see you very soon for more videos. Got a lot of exciting reviews coming in August. We have a lot, some new brands, obviously Bike Tricks being one that we're working with. And I don't want to talk about them because for, for some reason they don't come out. Um, but I'm very excited for August. We have some, some new bikes uh, with brands that either we've worked with very little, um, but we're very excited to do a lot more with uh, some of these brands. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.